Kawahara, you're always wearing a mask, aren't you? Do you not have a uh, confidence in how you look? I'm sorry, will you, because of that. I can't hear you, dude! <sighs> it means I don't want to talk to you. Go away. You're so boring. I felt bad that you're always alone in school. So I went through the effort to talk to you. I appreciate the thought. Come on, don't be like that. I bet someone like you doesn't get many chances to talk to girls. I do. Your mommy doesn't count. Heretikin, that's super rude. Yeah, but you're laughing too, ain't you? I mean, because... <laughs> Ayori, don't you think so too? Huh? Me? Yeah, you. You think this guy is lame too, don't you? What? I'm not sure. What kind of response is that? Don't tell me that your type is quiet guys like him. What? Um, that's not... Is that true, Ayori? I told you it's not. Why are you freaking out? That's very sketchy. Wait a sec, does that mean it's true then? Oh, is that so? All right then, Kawahara. I thought you already give you a kiss. You won't get many chances like this. Hey, Haradakun. Hold on, Harada. What are you saying? I always likes guys like him, right? Hey, Kawahara. Go for you. Will you leave me alone if I kiss her? Oh? Kawahara sounds like he's down for it. Uh, hold on. Are you serious? I don't care as long as it's only once. Why are you trying to act cool, man? <sighs> Can you hurry up and get it over with? It's getting annoying. So, where should I kiss you? Your forehead? Cheeks? Lips? Uh, don't. <laughs> yeah, she said she doesn't want to kiss you even for a joke! Hey, Harada, you're going too far. I feel bad for Ayori. What's wrong? Ayori, your face is red. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm fine. It's nothing. But Kawahara-kun's face... See, I knew he was ugly. I mean, he does hide his face every day, after all. Oh, this is seriously annoying. Are we done now? Can you guys not bother me anymore? All right, all right. Sorry, dude. I bet you were excited, huh? Nope. This is exactly what I wanted. I didn't even have to kiss her for you guys to stop bothering me. <laughs> you acted tough, huh? This is what happened one day during our lunch break. However, it seemed like this certain girl wasn't going to stay out of my life forever. A few hours after that incident, we happened to meet again. I'm so hungry. The shopping district during sunset hour was filled with many sounds, colors, and scents. In the midst of all that, the sounds of croquettes being fired by the butcher and the smell of meat as I passed the Yakiniku restaurant was aggressive. This could only be considered torture for a broke boy going through puberty. But if I try to go home by taking another route, it would take more time and make me even more hungry. Whoa, I am sorry. I'm sorry, too. I wasn't paying attention. Huh? Is that you, Teidishi? You seem different from how you are in school. What, Kawahara-kun? Hey, I haven't seen you since lunch break. Why are you here? My apartment is past the street. What are you doing here? I, um... Hey, Ari Chan! We're having a sale today. Wanna buy something? But really? Yeah, I'm serious. Maybe I'll buy something then. Alright. Oh, you're shopping. <gasps> Shoot! What's wrong? Did you forget to buy something? Not that. Hey, that supermarket is doing a limited sale, too. Eggs are 70 cents. One pack per person. Really? Seems like it. Kawahara-kun, come with me. Why? One pack per person, right? If we go together, we could buy two dozen eggs. Uh, okay. <laughs> I can't believe the minced beef was on sale, too. Tonight's vegetable curry is going to be a feast. The eggs were cheap, so I could make soft-boiled eggs, too. I'm just tired. Oh, thank you, Kawahara-kun. You're welcome. Wait, no, not that. Ugh. I hate that I'm so weak when it comes to the word sale. What's wrong with that? Nothing better than buying cheap things. Yeah, but 
It's not about that. Um, Kabaharakun, can you forget about what happened today? What happened? You know that I'm shopping dressed like this? What's wrong with it? Because it's lame, right? I mean, you do seem different from school. If everyone finds out that I'm dressed like this and running around to buy groceries on sale, they're going to stop hanging out with me. Are your friends in that group really that great? Huh? I guess to each their own, it's none of my business. Sure, I won't say anything. Really? On one condition. Is that... Is it going to be a dirty thing? What are you saying? Because you've never kissed a girl, right? Have you kissed someone then? I haven't, but... Then stop acting like you're better than me. So, what about you then? Me? That reminds me. I haven't kissed anyone for work either. Work? I've retired from that industry though. Thanks to that, I have no money. I have no idea what you're talking about. Basically, I'm saying that I'll keep my mouth shut, so please feed me. Hey, don't keep looking around. Well, I was just thinking about how it's my first time going into a female classmate's room. The way you said that... So, what, you've been in other girls' rooms then? Yeah, for example. When I mentioned a couple of female names, Teidishi first laughed, seemed exasperated, and finally started making fun of me. You know, Kawaharakun. What is it? Your imagination being that big is kinda cringy. What are you talking about? The girls you mentioned are all famous actresses, models, or idols. Yeah? Yeah? You sound so confident. Listen, there's no way a normal person like you could be friends with people like that. I'm kind of embarrassed that your imagination could get that crazy. Huh? Taidishi, didn't you see my face today? I thought that was the reason you said no to a kiss. I did see it. Just a little, though. Right, so you know then. What? Hold on, what are you talking about? What am I talking about? Didn't you recognize me after seeing my face? I'm sorry, I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea either. This face, you really don't recognize it? <gasps> that reaction kind of hurts my feelings. I I'm sorry. The reason I said no to the kiss was, uh, um, basically the same as how I'm feeling now. I was just surprised. Your face is super pretty. Thanks. What, that's all you're going to say? I've heard it plenty of times already. So you don't know who I am then? Who you are? You're my classmate, aren't you? I guess so. Here, I'll show you a picture, see? I opened my phone and showed a private picture of the actresses, models, and idols that I mentioned earlier. Of course, some information might be confidential for their work, so I showed her a group picture. There are a couple of guys, too. Those guys are all famous people that are on the front cover of magazines. What does this mean? Well, we all worked in the same industry, so I'm still close friends with them. Oh, don't tell people, okay? Worked in the same industry? I used to be a child actor. Um, you don't know? When I told Sadie she the title of a couple TV shows I starred in, she became even more surprised. I used to watch that. Oh, thanks. I didn't know you were that amazing. Not at all, I'm not that great. I've stepped out of the spotlight already. Huh? So, when you said you have no money... My parents give me an allowance. I already used up all my money this month to buy a newly released game. I live on my own, so I don't have any food at home either. So you decided to freeload off of your classmate? Sorry. It's fine, but the food at my house is normal. I don't think it suits your taste. Don't worry, uh, curry tonight, right? Curry's my favorite food. The fact that you're not expecting much is kind of irritating. <laughs> See, I told you, it's just curry. Mm, it's super delicious. Uh, really? <laughs> What is this? It's spicy, but I can't stop eating it. It's so good! <laughs> it makes me happy that you're complimenting it that much. Is it more for seconds? Do you want a boiled egg with it? Of course, put it on! Okay, okay. Oh, I'm so full. You ate a lot. I'll keep my promise and won't say anything. Oh, 
Yeah, I forgot about that promise. Don't worry, that's why I told you my secret too. Oh? That's why you told me? You'll feel safe with me knowing your secret if you know something about me too, right? That's true. Hey, if you're really that hungry all the time, you could come to eat at my place sometimes. Seriously? It makes me happy to see you eat a lot. I'll come by for food from time to time then. Okay, okay. Just like that, I occasionally visited my classmate Ayori Teidishi's house. As promised, Harada left me alone. At the same time, Teidishi, who was a part of his group of friends, never talked to me either. I don't intend to make friends in my school, so this was good for me. I was finally able to have peace and quiet, but that was only in school. Oh, Kawahara-kun, I'm going to that store too. What? You're still gonna buy things? Of course. It's great having a spare hand to hold things. I guess. We distance ourselves in school, but I help out with shopping after classes on some days. This is an exchange for her blessing me with her food. She already had me wrapped around her finger and groomed. Hey, Oi-chan! Looking cute as always! I'm not going to loosen my wallet even if you compliment me. <laughs> You're a tough one. I mean, I bet you'd be more than happy to hear that from your boyfriend than an old man like me. Boyfriend? Young man next to you. We've been talking about you two recently. What? Kawaharkin isn't my boyfriend. Oh, that was a surprise. I never thought they would think that you're my boyfriend. I don't think there's anything to worry about. You just don't worry about anything in general. More importantly, this meat is delicious. Gosh, you're really one that's practical over aesthetics, aren't you? Seconds, please. Okay, okay. No, don't worry about it. If he says anything about it, I'll explain to him. Who's he? Harada. Why Haradakin? Why? He likes you, doesn't he? He was clearly irritated when he thought that you were interested in me. Oh, is that what that was about? It seems like you're not interested in him. There are good things about him. But I don't like that he's a little rude to people who aren't his close friends. I see, that makes sense. What does? I know that you're a good person. How do you know that? I couldn't find a single good thing about Harada, but you were able to find something despite that. That's probably because you're a good person. People with bad personalities can only see the bad things in people. Me, for example. Are you trying to compliment me? Nope. Apparently, you don't loosen your wallet with compliments. So I'm just saying the honest truth. <laughs> I see. But, Kawaharakin, based on what you said, the fact that you found something good about me makes you a kind person, too. Sorry to disappoint, but I'm not a good person. Not at all. I think you're mostly, sometimes, sort of a nice person. I don't think that's a compliment. Yep. Well, there won't be any money coming out of your empty wallet if I compliment you anyways. The incident happened about a week after we had this conversation. What I'm saying is, I want to be friends with you, dude! You don't want to? That's not what I'm saying. Yeah? I'm glad we're on the same page. Can you go buy me a drink then? What about the money for it? Oh, well, can I pay you back later? But you, you can't do that? We're gonna be friends, but you can't even lend me a few dollars? Here, I'll pay for it. I'm sorry about that. What about Aori? Why are you being so nice? What do you mean? See, I bet you do like we guys like this. I told you already, that's not it. It's just... Just what? I just think bullying people like this is uncool. What? What's wrong with you, Ayori? Kawahara for us and now him? If you're gonna act so high and mighty, be nice to him. Good for you, dude. Ayori said she'll kiss you. I never said that. What's wrong? You're nice and like me, aren't you? How many times do I need to tell you that that's not what I'm saying? But you're the same as me in the end, ain't you? You're making fun of guys like him. That's why you're pretending to act nice and enjoying your superiority. But you still look down on him, so you can't kiss him. That's a completely different story. That's not true. It is. I'm not just going to kiss anyone out there. So what? Is there a guy you like or something? It's not that, but... Who is it? Who? Tell me. 
If you say it, I'll let you out of this. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but can you end this? You're in the way, Karahara. This isn't any of your business. Honestly, I didn't want to be a part of this. I guess annoying when I have to deal with you. But it seems like I've been groomed. What are you saying? Are you another one of the boys who got the wrong idea after she was nice to you? Well, maybe so. I think she's a great person for saying that someone like you is good. Seriously. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you trying to say? Besides, she already turned you down. Don't you get it? She didn't want to kiss you. Oh, you're boring, aren't you? You were the one who suggested that Tadishi and I kiss in the first place, right? Then be supportive of our relationship, won't you? What? No way. Is that Miharukun? How? You don't know him? The child prodigy actor Mihirokun. He was in a bunch of TV shows and commercials. I do know him. No way. Is it really him? I appreciate you a little bit, Arata. You're the one who got us together in the beginning. But thanks to you, we're super close. What? The thing is, we're so close that I go to her house sometimes. What? Kawahara-kun? Oh, Teirishi, what's for dinner tonight? What? It's the curry you asked for a little while ago. You really love curry, don't you? Wait, what does that have to do with anything now? Hold up, Iori! What was that about? Is he your husband? Your hubby? What? Uh... You need to be interrogated. Tell us everything! Come here! What? Huh? So that's that. I need you to stop bothering her. Oh, of course. Uh, continue to be nice to her as a friend. Karahara, you... If you want to pick a fight with her, you'll be fighting with me. This is annoying, yeah, but I'm okay with it if it's for her. I'll show you how serious I am. I used to go against adults in the entertainment industry. I wasn't going to be scared of my classmate. I mean, I don't know how he feels, but that was me. When I lightly tapped his shoulder, Arata became quiet. Just like that, this commotion ended peacefully. Um, Kawahara-kun. What's up? Uh, thanks for today. It's nothing. My way of saying thank you for always feeding me good food. At least that's what it was supposed to be. It got a little personal, though. Are you upset about it? Nope, not at all. Gosh, I was worried. I mean, nothing I said was a lie. Does that mean... Huh? What does it mean, exactly? Who knows? Either way, it means that I'm not gonna let go of someone who can cook such delicious food. Excuse you? Am I your maid or what? I never said that. Liar. That's what it sounded like. But I'm a little sad. About what? Everyone knows your secret now. It's not just something that I know anymore. True, but you being dressed up like this is still something that I only know. Gosh, very arrogant of you. It had to be done. Do you want me to tell you a new secret in exchange? Teirishi, it seems like... Uh, I'm not going to tell anyone the words that I said after this. After all, it's a secret between Teirishi and me.